Hey, this is Ed Toy. It's 3 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. As you can expect, in the uh, ups this morning, just checking a look at uh, weather models for Hurricane Irma, which is now Category 5 storm, sustained winds 185 miles an hour. And uh, been watching the GFS and the Euro both, but this is the GFS model. Put it into motion from about 100 miles north of Puerto Rico. And it looks like this uh, it's starting to take a little more of a west-northwest path, which takes it over open water, basically 100 miles off the coast of Haiti and the Dominican Republic, up through the channel between the Bahamas and like Turks and Caicos and uh, Cuba. And see, still hasn't made landfall, so nothing really to slow it down at this point. Uh, could continue potentially Category 5 strength, although the official intensity forecast calls for it to be a Category 4. And then starting to feel the effects of this front to our north on Sunday morning and making landfall in Miami or very close to it. Fort Lauderdale uh, sometime midday Sunday, but not really staying ashore, staying uh, just hugging the Gulf Stream, similar to what Matthew did last year, but a much stronger and, and larger storm uh, coming up the coast and basically beeline it for uh, Savannah, Georgia. So you can also see a uh, newly formed tropical storm behind that, that we'll talk about later. But um, we pause that and look at the Euro model. Come back to Friday, you can see Irma just north of the Dominican Republic again. Not sure exactly what that frame is all about, but it's continuing on. And this model actually has it going a little further south, making landfall over Cuba, which could potentially weaken the storm a little bit. As Cuba's got some mountainous terrain, disrupt the flow. You can see it going down the length of Cuba for quite a ways. This is now Saturday night, Saturday night into Sunday morning. And now you can see the front to the north starting to affect the track, bringing it north, basically over Key West. And then you can see the winds really cranking up all over northeast Florida with that front interacting with the hurricane making landfall somewhere around Fort Myers, uh, inland Tampa, maybe Lakeland area, over Gainesville. And then on Monday evening, exiting into Georgia with once again another hurricane north of Puerto Rico. Not sure what that one's going to do. So those are the models for now. We're waiting to see if they update later on or probably tomorrow we'll have a better idea of what's going on. But uh, if you're anywhere in southern Florida, Sunday morning, we're looking at potential landfall of Irma catastrophic category four or five hurricane 40 to 50 foot seas along the east coast of florida especially if it takes this track out to sea and stays along the coast we're looking at probably 15 foot storm surge and extremely large hazardous conditions along the coast so time to get some supplies and make a plan and we'll see what it happens tomorrow